Amy Jo here from paperandspool.com back with my day 14 of my December daily. So I have a bunch of stuff laid out here for my day 14 and this is actually an old story, quite, quite old, um, from when we went and got our Christmas tree and we did that very early this year and normally I get it into the album right away but I didn't this year because I had so many other stories to be working on so it's going to make its way in here and I've got four big six by by eight pages here. Two of them are one photo across the selfie that we took of our family as we picked up the tree and then two of them are Max just kind of wandering around the tree lot which I really loved and wanted to include here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bit of a flip out page so that I can see this big family photo all together and then it will turn across. Now I actually have an attacher die and I couldn't find my plates for my die cutting machine. I have a cuddle bug and in the office move I must have tucked those plates away somewhere and I have absolutely no idea where. So I just made these using my big um, punch that punches uh, like tabs and what I did is I punched the tab and then I held it in only part way and re-punched it so that it created a smaller one so that it's not as it's not the two and a quarter inches wide, it's just smaller so that it's going to fit into the rings here. So I'm going to use those to attach the story into the book and I wanted to first work on this fold out page. So I'm just going to move the book to the side here so that I can work on getting them attached to each other. And I've got a few embellishments that I've already kind of chosen to match in here and those will make their way in in no time at all I'm sure. So what I'm going to do is I don't want to use washi because if I used washi I'd be covering up my husband's face and so I want this to just flip open. I should have probably printed it on a slightly smaller piece of paper and folded it. That would have been smart but I wasn't um, thinking smart yet at that point. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take two pieces of paper and they're the same size there's nothing too special about them and I'm going to put them across like this and then I'm going to fold along that line this is where if you have like a bone folder that's probably a good idea to get a really careful uh, fold there and I'm just noticing that it's splitting a little bit here so I'm actually going to grab just another piece of paper and I'm just going to cut down some smaller pieces so that I can do the edges so that I don't have to worry about them. And that top is actually really thin. Didn't do them equally at all. So I'm going to just go like that and like this. And so with this, there's less chance that it will kind of break open or fold open or anything like that. But I wanted the longer strip so that I would make sure it actually got that it held together well. So I'll just do this in the middle. And this will kind of fold on either side. So I'm just going to fold that one more time to get those extra little pieces that I put in there. This, you could use this same method for a flip up page if you were doing a flip up in a pocket. I've definitely done this before to make a flip up and it works really, really easily. So now what I'm going to do is attach my inside. The only thing you're going to have to be careful of when you do this is remember that the fold will, will kind of fold in and you don't want to actually line up both your photos straight to each other. You want to line them kind of into the fold. So this is when you buy books that like advertise that they're lie flat. They're a special process to be able to completely lie flat. And this is not that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just kind of like line it up where it would. So there is a little bit of a gap there. And that's a gap that I'm okay with because I know that I'm not going to be on a regular basis 
it's not going to be laying open like that. It's just you're going to open it to see, and then you're probably going to close it and flip on your way. So what that leaves me with is some edges that need a little bit of help uh, because they don't all sit in exactly the same way. So I need to trim this edge a little bit. Oops, that was extremely loud. I apologize. Because there's just a tiny bit that's not lining up there and then I'm just going to trim the top because they ended up I was a little careless as I in and the bottom looks fine and this edge looks fine as well and I also I think I'm going to try and just go in a little farther here on this one because this is the one that's going to be flipping up I'm going to have to be really careful because I've got that text now right to the edge. So anything I add here to grab it, to flip up, I want to make sure it doesn't cover up any of that text. So on the inside, I'm not going to go for too much here in terms of embellishment. Uh, I already have my journaling that I did when I printed these photos off in Photoshop. So I have just a little bit, a little tree embellishment here, a little wood veneer tree. And this is old. This is from, I believe, a Paisley Press mini kit at one time. I could not tell you which one anymore, but there was one that came with these, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and now I've managed to grab the adhesive and the red back. My nails are at that point where it's like, they're good for getting stuff, but they're almost too good. They get too much. So I might have to trim. I'm just going to put that tree up at the top of that journaling block there. Um, in terms of anything else that I might want to do here, the only thing that I can think I might like is a little bit of washi tape down here. I'm going to come back to that idea though because I think I'm going to washi this seam on the outside because this is just on photos. So that's not going to matter. And I just want to make sure I used this one back on my day eight with the Hogwarts gingerbread castle. So I think I'm going to use it again here so that I kind of maintain some consistency. And oh, I ripped that a little bit at the bottom. Oops. And then this is where it's really, really careful because I put that washi tape tight. So I'm gonna have to make sure I fold it really good and make sure that it looks good from both sides. Perfect. Okay, so for this front, this is gonna be where the number is and where the, the day 14 kind of starts. So I'm gonna adhere that number on the front here. Again, because it's wood veneer, I'm gonna use the red line tape. If it was the chipboard, I could, I would feel comfortable um, using the tape runner, but with the wood veneer, I like a good hold. And I have found that the red line tape often provides that. I have, I can't remember what size of the red line, I think it's the eighth of an inch, but it's almost as wide, or maybe it's the quarter inch, almost as wide as those numbers. So I have to kind of peel it in a little bit on the front. And then I have this piece from the Paisley Press mini kit this year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And you would not be able to tell it by the look on his face here, but I think that's the sentiment I'm wanting to go for. And then I had grabbed this and I was maybe a little bit too overzealous with my, oh no, I can fit it in there. So what I'm gonna try to do is attach this um, tab. Instead of just folding it around the two pages, I'm going to try and get it in between so that my text does not get covered up. And this is gonna be a you get what you get and you don't get upset kind of situation, which can you tell I have a five-year-old all the time in our house. This is our mantra when you have a five-year-old. Okay, so there we go. That'll be good because I won't see it from the inside, but I can easily grab it from the outside. All right. So 
So I've got the tab. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the album back and I'm going to try and position those um, the little page holders. And I saw somebody, I think it might have been Brandy, Brandy Kincaid, do it with just squares of um, paper and that's a great idea too. Oh, I should have closed this because I was, I was reckless and I've paid the price. There we go. So, the trick with these oh. is going to be to get enough adhesive on them that they're going to hold and not just fall off at the first opportunity. So I just put them on a scrap piece of paper here so that I could get adhesive across the whole thing because it needs to stick on the front and the back and it needs to be exactly lined up with the holes. So, I'm going to put the one side in and not the other side yet. You'll see why in a minute. I probably could have put the adhesive on the other side after, but this way it's there. Okay, so the important thing is that they, these lie straight and that this lines up properly with the same amount on both sides. And I think I've managed to do it. So then I'll take it out and finish the adhesive process. And then because I, I put them on the paper and kind of rolled right over top of the entrances. They're a little sticky on the edges, so I'm just grabbing off the sticky with my fingers so that it doesn't cause it to remain sticky. Now, because I am a little bit cautious, I'm going to also staple these with the tiny attacher so that there is no chance it is going to separate and come off. So that's gonna go into the rings there and that'll close up. Then this will close across and see how nicely that lined up. So good. So I've got my number and my embellishment here. My journaling is on the inside with the family photo. And then on the back, I've got the little guy in the tree lot. And I wanted to be able to add a little bit more here because we just had such a good experience in the tree lot this year as opposed to like how he reacted to it last year. And last year it was like the classic, like I'm done, let's go. We picked the best tree. The first tree we saw was the best one. And so I thought maybe I would add something. I'm not finding anything that I love. So I'm just gonna pause on that for a second. Uh, now on this inside piece to here, I had one piece of wood veneer that, or sorry, chipboard that I was thinking I might use here. And that's this together piece from the Paisley Press mini kit. And so I'm just going to add that one in right here in the middle of the photo. I kind of love that big graphic hit and I've been dying to use this piece. It's so great. All right, so all I have left to do here is add the, the tab. So I'm just gonna grab my stamp and see if I can find a good sentiment for this one. And hmm, I think I'm going to go with here's the story, which is not something that I tend to use on a regular basis, but I like the, I like it for this. I think it'll be perfect. One of, uh, somebody on YouTube had mentioned trying to put two layers in the, two layers of paper in the Avery tabs so that they don't fall out. So I'm going to give that a go today and see if I like it better with the two layers and perhaps then I don't have to adhere it. It will just stay. So we're going to see.
Oh, the double layer actually makes a huge difference. Thanks so much for the tip. And there we go. I love how that's looking. Now, the only thing about this is that because of the way that I did it, it's going to be bulky. So if you're looking to reduce bulk in your album, I wouldn't recommend it. But because I think I've mentioned this a couple of times, I'm not at all worried about having a bulky album this year. I'm not going to worry about it and I'm going to leave it right there. So I've got our photo in the middle with the journaling and then the 14 and then over on the other side, I've got that one. And oh, I know exactly what I want for this. Sometimes you just have to sit with it for a while. And I want one of these, these bright, these black stars with the gold on them. And I think I'm gonna have to go with this one because it was just such an awesome, we've had a great, we had a great experience this time. And so I'm just gonna add that little love. There we go. So of course, me adding more chipboard on all three sides of this made it even bulkier than it was initially. But there you go, a look at my day 14. Uh, thanks so much for following along. I have a really busy weekend this weekend. We've got Saturday and Sunday uh, going like crazy. So I don't know if I'll get everything up in time uh, to match up with the days next week. We'll have to see how that goes. Uh, but I'm hoping to see you back next week. I will be doing more videos of the rest of my album. Um, so we're at 14 today. I've still got some great stuff happening uh, over in the rest of it here. So I'm looking forward to seeing you guys back next week. Have a great weekend.